funders. Stop doing these things, start doing these things. We're gonna to talk today about what you should do with your third party partners in the face of the recession that we're technically currently in, even though I know you guys are saying your default rates are still good. So again, my name's Sean Smith, dedicated financial GBC, Roseville, Minnesota. I'm the founder and CEO. Thank you for tuning in. We're gonna jump into some stop doing these, start doing these things, and I hope they're beneficial to you and that quite frankly, the industry hears some of this, implements it, and you come stop me at a conference here in the next year or two and say, I'm glad I listened because boy, did that help. So let's start off. First one is this, do start deciding on what metrics are important to you and give them to your vendor partners. We need to know what data points are important to you. What are you watching? How are you comparing us to others? What are the benchmarks? And then put the expectation that we're either close or beating those, especially if we're your number one vendor. That's important. And yet, it's like pulling teeth to get that data. In a recession, when defaults are spiking, you want a data-driven company that can tell you precisely where they're at. And if you're doing you know, two or three vendors in any area, collections, repo, remarketing, servicing, whatever it is, you wouldn't be able to compare those. Well, you need to have that data organized and be sharing it so you can slant that business to those who are performing the best for you. Second thing is this, is stop neglecting setting up your workout process for rapid scale in the face of a major recession. It's unbelievable to me. I, I, I Again, I've done consulting and, and been in the internal departments and talked with collection managers and general counsels and CEOs and CFOs about their process. And often than not, it's, it's antiquated. It's manually driven. There's big gaping holes. It's not data driven. It's based on, well, I've been using this guy for 30 years and he's great. Like that is not how you run a funding company's workout department effectively, period. And right now you may be getting away with it because you're funding so many deals and default rates are low. But we're a couple months into our session right now. What are you gonna do when defaults triple? Do you have a scalable process? And it's gonna hurt when the money you have on the street, you can't get back. So you've gotta stop neglecting setting up that process. Get the fire extinguisher in place now before the house is on fire. And I really hope a lot of you listen to that one. Do start creating champion challenges, both with your internal team and your external vendor partners. Make them compete against each other and whoever's performing the highest for you in apples to apples comparison, slant your business that way. If you have two third party commercial collection agencies working for you and one is getting you more money in in a faster rate so you can redeploy that capital, slant the, the defaulted accounts, the, the charge off accounts or whatever you're sending, slant them to them, give them 70, 80% of those. They're doing a better job and tell the other one like, hey, here's the benchmarks. If you beat them, we'll give you more business. And this is, this is just something that's not happening in the industry. If I go to Amex, if I go to City, uh, that is, would, there's no other way they would do it but that. But you get in the commercial finance, financing industry and it is very rare that companies are doing this and it is absolutely hurting them and making them highly inefficient on the work outside. Next thing is stop being unaware of how you're performing against the market. One thing Dedicated does, and I don't think this is very common, is we give you a dashboard, not only with all the data and all the metrics that, and all the KPIs that you wanna see, we also now, because we work with so many different funders, compare your collections, your legal, your repos, and those KPIs against the market and against competitors that are funding in your circle, some of your closest competitors. Because we work with so many folks in the market, we can actually show you how you're doing. Now I'm not gonna name names, it's a blind comparison, but it's gonna give you an idea and an analysis with it that says, here's why that's the fact. Uh, you're, we're collecting more for you because you get the accounts to us sooner. We're collecting more for them because they have a higher credit profile. Whatever the reason is, we can give you that analysis and that can help influence uh, how you're doing what you're doing and maybe positively effectuate your process uh, in, a, in a direction that makes it far more efficient and effective. So these are just the top four things I was thinking of, of how you can work with your third party partners, what you should start doing, what you should stop doing now that we're a couple months into recession. I hope it helps. 
Again, I, I love for comments, like, share, subscribe. Let me know what you think of this. As always, thank you for tuning in and God bless.